Hello guys, good afternoon and welcome back once again to another crypto live airdrop session with Crypto with me. I'm your host Brian and of course I have a lot to update you guys from the 2nd to the 8th of June for airdrops. And first thing first, let me share my screen. Okay, so you can see here for this week, okay, what is really happening. You can see the whole week of June, the whole month of June, you can see we have Swell. Swell is a year two for Ethereum. Okay, and then we have last as well, which is happening on the 26th of June, okay, which is in three weeks from now. And then the year zero and ZK Singh. Okay, I think there are a lot of speculation that it might happen on June, but I don't think it will be ad dropping for June. Most likely it will be checker. And then we have DOP, okay, right? And then we have Taiko, either five, either five will be end of this month as well by 31st, 31st or 30th of June, uh, 30th of June. Okay, and then we have a bill. Okay, Zeta markets as well, heavily forming on this. So let's see. Okay, right. So all in all, we can see there are a lot of exciting times coming for the month of, for this month. Okay, so I'm more looking forward for Ether 5. So Ether 5 on season one here delivered. Okay, with the high expectations, okay, with the airdrop. So I'm looking forward for season two as well by 30th of June. Okay, I think most likely will be will be cooking well for those uh, OGs who are sticking heavily on the five. Okay. All right. And then, uh, yeah, moving on, you can see on the first thing first on Sanctum. So Sanctum is actually a liquid mistaking for Solana. So they have already concluded for season one and I don't think they will be moving on for season two. So whatever point that you are prohibited, okay, you might want to stay put on it instead of withdrawing or converting your liquid staking back to Solana. So the article here is called Cloud, and this is your tokenomics. Okay, this is your actually tokenomics. So you can, you can see you can see here. So we thought about launching season two in the D after the end of season one, but we decided against the end. Okay, so moving to season two right away would be great for total value lock. But I want to take our time and build a season two that will blow you away just like season one. Okay, so I think this is done and does it for season one. Season two, I don't think they will do it as of now. Okay, all right, and then you see here there are a lot of a lot of sentiment here on cloud. So this is the tokenomics that we are looking at. So we can see launch of airdrop, it will be distributed, distributing about 10%. For those people who are doing the airdrop for farming this, 10%. Okay, and then for Jupiter launch pack, which is the LFG, about 8%. Okay, right, LFG launch, and then to 1%, which is those who are voting under Jupiter DAO. Okay, yeah, so all in all, we can see this is actually quite exciting. Right. I think not many people are actually farming Sanctum, but of course, it's also one of the biggest hype right now in Solana. Okay, and uh, not many are expected that they have concluded the season one so quickly. So when token, what's next? Right, we're moving as fast as we can, but we will never rush things. For the next few hours, we'll, I'll be streaming live to answer all your questions. So this is on the 5th of June. Okay, so yeah, this is, uh, this, is this person here is uh, F FPD. Okay, so you might want to pay attention on this uh, sanctum. So for those of you who have farm or have, um, who have stake, you could stake your Solana into sanctum. Okay, I think whatever point that you have, stay put with it, don't convert. You might want to wait for further notice announcement. Okay, because I think they might catch those who are converting or those who are trying to game the system, okay, or C build. Okay, so you might want to be careful if you are converting, right? So don't do that, okay, just to be safe. Okay, and then moving on next, we can see here Typo, Typo, Typo. You can see this is the layer two scaling solution for Ethereum, and they have finally airdrop, and you can be able to claim your tokens. Okay, so claim window is from fifth of June all the way to fifth of July, just one month, giving you one month to claim. So you might want to claim when the gas are low. Gas is low because currently right now you can see Ethereum gas is spiking up again. Okay, so you might want to claim on the weekends if possible. Okay. And I think you need a little bit of Ethereum to claim your Typo tokens, right? So you can be able to see here 5% of the initial Typo supply, okay, will be distributed to, for those uh, test users, for those developers. Hub. Okay, you can see here Typo proposals, Proofers, Bridges, okay, people who are doing the test net, not only on Galaxy, all right? So very, very important, you can see here. Okay, so yeah, on, on this is where you, want, where you need to claim, okay, all right? So you have roughly about 27 days left to claim. Okay, so yeah, all in all, you can see you can start bridging. I can start farming for season two, season two airdrop for Taiko. 
Okay, then plus next one. Uh, we can see this ATR ad rock. So ATR is actually a deep in narrative. Okay, where this is actually one of the most anticipated deep in ad rock that will be coming very, very soon, which is on the 12th of June. So for those of you who have complete this uh, test net or complete this activity on Galaxy and the year three, all right, you, when you complete these two, you are getting a two batch where you are also qualifying for this airdrop. Okay, so other than that, you can also purchase the node, okay, which costs about three, two or three Ethereum, okay, where you're entitled for eight year node, okay, node, node holder, okay, which will qualify you even more eight year tokens. But if you are doing the free task like Galaxy and the year three, where you're qualifying for two badges alone, which will certainly will give you an airdrop as well. So season one airdrop, which will be around 630 million of token release. Okay, so stand by this coming week, the new week on 12th of June. Okay, I'm going to airdrop this ATA token to you. Okay, so airdrop, see you can see here. Okay, so airdrop claiming process will be conducted through our dedicated claiming platform on 12th of June. So stand by 12th of June, which will be back this coming Wednesday. Okay, all right. So you can be able to claim your ATA token through the designated game. Okay, they will be publishing on their social media or Twitter page. So you might want to pay attention on their official Twitter page. Okay, and their Discord as well. So all in all, you can see this absolutely free. You don't have to, you know, purchase the node. It's optional to purchase. Okay, by just doing the Galaxy and the year three tasks. Okay, it will get you two badges and qualify you to the airdrop. Okay, so I think it's pretty much simple okay, to, to, to get this because this is one of the biggest hype narrative for DP. Okay, ATA is a highly anticipated airdrop. Okay, so I think for those of you who have found this, I think you are well deserved for this airdrop. Okay, and then moving on next, uh, we have this BitGap. So if you are using BitGap wallet, okay, and you are transacting on BitGap, then you should qualify for this BWB token. Okay. So one point equivalent to about 0 0.24 bit gap token. Total supply for one billion. Okay. So their IDO price, which is around 15 cents at the moment. Okay. So yeah, so this thing is on 6th of June. So you can able to claim your airdrop on bit gap. I think it's on your bit gap wallet. All right. So you need to claim. Okay. So I think for those of you who have found this on this airdrop from bit gap, I think you should uh, you know, qualify. It's huge, huge airdrop. So yeah, you can see here a lot, right? A lot of people are actually qualifying for this airdrop, right? So yeah, this is actually a wallet, and BitGet is actually an exchange, a DEX exchange, right? Where you can be able to trade new points and any type of coins. So yeah, a big congratulations to you guys who got it. And then moving on next, okay, this is from Cosmos site. So Cosmos site, uh, we have also for those of you who are sticking at Tom, okay, then you should qualify for this airdrop called Dora. So yeah, so this person got one Dora. I think not much, nothing much here. Dora gas free airdrop to all Cosmos stickers. So this is like a consolation price for those of you who are sticking. And then many are showing their dissatisfaction on the token. All right, I got one, but cannot claim because you need Dora for deposit. So yeah, let's see here. And then what is Dora is all about? So Dora Factory, you can see here. Right, digital infrastructure for public goods staking and decentralized governance DAO. Okay. So this is their website and see here for more details. So for those of you who got Dora <coughs> or who have staked at Tom, then you automatically qualify for this adopt Dora factory. But not, not much, but this is a consolidation. Okay. Yeah, this is more like a guest fee for them. So yeah, you can be able to take note on this website, right? If you want. Then moving on next, we have also Mendy. So Mendy Network will be airdropping on 14th of June, which is after eight year, two days after eight year. Okay, which is this next this coming Friday, all right? This coming Friday. So this one, right? TGE is on 14. No need to do anything from the site. All you need to do is just to you know claim, you just need to paste your address on the claim, right? And that's how you will qualify. The final date for mainnet launch is on 14 of June. Okay, all row drop, trust drop, test net, OG drop. The what's will be automatically drop to your address on 14. So you don't have to do anything. That, that's the best thing about Cosmos site. Right? So you don't have to go and claim. You don't have to, do, to worry about you know, whether you should connect to those scam site or phishing link. Okay? So automatically, as long as you place your address on the checker site for Mendy, then you should automatically 
get this airdrop to you on your wallet. Okay, so this is the best thing. Mandy. Okay, so yeah, well, big congratulations for you guys. Okay, I think for you guys who have stake, I think Dimension, you should be getting this airdrop. Then moving on. Okay, more on the Cosmos side on Atom. Okay, so if you have stake, your D by DX, okay, okay, to Stripe, okay, or Liquid Stake, your D by DX, okay, then you should be getting this uh, airdrop from Stripe. Okay, this promotion, this period, staking period is from 30th of January, right up to about four months. Okay, about four months it lasted. So you have stake within January to April, right? January, April to May. Within this 120 days. Okay, then you should qualify for strike, strike airdrop. And they are going to airdrop within three weeks, three weeks from now. Okay, there'll be <coughs> the window the claim window will be open within these three weeks and then you have about three months to claim so unclaimed strike at the end of this claim will be repurposed repurposed so they will be distributed back to the governance thing okay so yeah so a big congratulations to you guys who stake your whatever strike divide the x or your strike tia i think one or one by one they will you know distribute the strike tokens to you for you guys to claim so yeah I think Strike is a very good platform. Uh, liquid is staking under Cosmos. So you want to stake your Celestia, your Atom, or your Injective, right? You might want to go for Strike rather than those validators. So validators, may, they will be a locking period of 21 days. So that is an advantage. And of course, the airdrop quality is not so competitive compared to L2 Ethereum. So you might want to consider staking through Strike instead. Okay, so Strike give a better probability in terms of airdrop quality, knowingly that they will airdrop, right? They have clarity on when they're going to airdrop. That is the best thing about Strike, okay? So you might want to consider Strike in the future if you're planning to use Cosmos. Then, of course, last but not least, okay, this is coming in from Wormhole. So for those of you guys who have gotten Wormhole, Wormhole tokens, right? And you're still holding your tokens, this is what you need to do. Okay, if you are not, if you are not planning to sell, not planning to convert, Okay, or to cash out or whichever. You might want to delegate your token to the governance. Okay, this is where a wormhole will have more, what do you call, they can able to preserve their value. They can able to preserve their ecosystem. Okay, okay that's why you can see wormhole price continue to spike, continue to, to rally, right? Because that's what you need. Utility, very, very important. So, okay, so what is this all about? So if you stick now, or if you delegate your wormhole tokens for governance, you should most likely qualify for to tokens like Monet. Okay, so future wormhole airdrops, they have already confirmed there will be more airdrops like Monet. So I think Monet is one of the anticipated, highly anticipated also, but they have yet to launch the testnet. Okay, so Monet have raised about 244 million in funding. So this is really, really huge. So I think even though you do not have wormhole tokens, you might want to have buy some wormhole to delegate. Now, the difference between staking and delegate is two different things here. Because why? When you delegate, you're actually pledging your allegiance to that, that, to that validator, but you're not committing your tokens fully locked. You're not fully locked your tokens. That's the best thing about this. Because when you delegate, you're just, uh, okay, I'm, I'm giving my full support, okay, for my voting power on your validator, that's all. But my token's still intact with me. The token is still in my wallet. I'm not parting away my wormhole tokens to, to you or to the wormhole foundation. Unlike Cosmos, where you have to lock your token for 21 days, and if you want to redraw, you have to wait for 21 days in staking. Uh, that's a whole difference here. So staking and delegating, okay, you can go to this website called teddy.xyz, okay, wormhole, and you start to delegate. So if your wormhole tokens is under Solana, you might want to bridge it to EBM, the Ethereum virtual machine. Okay, so this is how you can be able to, uh, to dedicate your token. So end of the day is that I think this is absolutely free, cost free. It only costs about 18 cent gas fee on Solana site if you are bridging back from Solana to EBM. Okay, so there are a lot of validators. So it's entirely up to you. You want to choose who you want to dedicate with. Okay, and then of course, more and more here. Okay, this is very important as well for the Gaussi task, Gaussi. So you might want to complete your Gaussi task here. Okay, app.galc. Okay, this is where you want to mean your this is where you want to mean your nomis.cc, your score. 
Okay, so if your score is above 40 plus, okay, that's where you want to mint it. If your score is below 40, then forget it, right? You don't want to, because it costs about 8 metric, right? 8 metric for you to, to mint this. So, right, so this civil pre prevention, but if you can get above 40, then it will be good. Okay, then gives you an additional boost, additional advantage, okay, for you guys to uh, to be on the front front line to qualify for more airdrops. Okay, so yeah, this is where you need to mean your score. And once you mean, if it's 40 plus above, then you might want to pay 8 metric, okay, which is about $5 plus for, for this. But I believe this is worth it. Okay, and then you have your deadline all by Monday. So make sure you need to do it by this weekend, okay? So you don't want to wait until Monday and say, because you might never know there could be a congestion. There could be a congestion. So you might want to do it on the weekend. Do it on a weekend where people are on holiday or people are away from the PC, right? So you might want to do it on the weekend rather on Monday. So Monday, uh, UTC 11, right? Okay, so for us, Malay, for us Asia side, so we have a lot of time. So you can do it on the weekend rather than on Monday. Okay, guys, so I think that's all I have for this week. And I think more news coming in for next week as well. So we have this A tier, we have this uh, Mandy drop. So you might want to pay attention on next week as well. So once again, guys, thank you for your time.